Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. In this episode of Mattressology, we are going to talk about what might be the best sleep position for you. So let's go. What are the best, the main sleep positions people talk about? Side, you got your, your back, your stomach, some people maybe their hands. I assume they must sleep on their hands because when they're testing for mattresses, they're just filling everything with their hands. So I don't know how that works. I mean, you have the free fall, you know, you have like the, the coffin, the dead man. I had a customer that sleeps like this. Like the vampire. Another customer uh, is on his back, but with a pillow on their face. Interesting sleep positions. But one sleep position that you may not be aware of that is actually really good for you and that doesn't get talked about quite a bit is zero gravity. What is zero gravity? Man, that sounds some uh, like some uh, futuristic stuff. The term came from NASA. When they were launching the space shuttle, there was a position that they put them in that would take away the pressure as much as possible. But that's where the term zero gravity comes from. And we do zero gravity too because of the pressure that's being taken off the lower back, the breathing. That is zero gravity in a nutshell. It's a type of position that, that you're in. And it stems from NASA and the astronauts taking off. So how does zero gravity look? Gabe's gonna demonstrate. I'll be the he's model. A, he's the, the, the mattress model finding who's gonna be it, but votes went to him. Don't he's the one that actually voted. <laughs> yes, I voted. Most people, they start flat. How do you feel, Gabe? Feel good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise the feet up and raise the head. It takes a little bit longer. You see what I, I raise the feet up a bit. Now here's the advantage of, of zero gravity. A lot of people during the day, they're on your feet a lot. There's pressure build up on the lower part of your back. You know, even when you get off your feet, that pressure's still there, you know? Or another thing is if you're sitting at a desk or driving in a car, there's a lot of pressure that builds up throughout the day. And just getting off your feet, that pressure's still there. What a lot of doc back doctors, a lot of chiropractors have found and physical therapists recommend is elevating your feet a little bit. What it does is it takes away the pressure off the lower back. So, so how are you feeling, Gabe, when uh, I just- It feels good when you lift it up the legs. What I did was just raise up his feet just a little bit. Now this is only half of it. Now okay. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift up his head part. So this is a typical zero gravity position. Here are the big benefits of zero gravity. Like I said about the, the feet part, it takes away the pressure off the lower back. It opens up the hips. It allows some of that decompression. Now, some people, I don't know if you've ever tried one of those inversion tables where you strap yourself in, you go upside down and it takes away the pressure. Obviously it's not as extreme as that, but they work because they're taking away the pressure. Now this is a very similar principle what's happening. Definitely not as extreme as that, but a similar pr principle is taking away that pressure off the lower back. One of the benefits of zero gravity is that when you're sleeping flat, you know, during the day you're moving, the blood's flowing, the heart's rate's pumping, but when you're falling into the deeper levels of sleep, your heart rate slows down. But since you're flat, to get the, the blood from the feet back into the heart, you're out, your heart actually has to work a little harder than it should. What zero gravity does when you elevate your feet slightly above the heart, it allows better blood flow. You get better circulation. A lot of people with circulation issues, congestive heart failure, and when they sleep flat, their feet get swollen because the heart is not strong enough to get the blood flowing through the rest of their body. Fluid just pulls up, so they have to sleep elevated. So this actually is really helpful for circulation as well. And now on the head part, what's going on is when you get into the deeper levels of sleep, it, it helps with breathing. That's one of the biggest things is when you, when you get into the deeper levels of sleep, your airways, especially when you get to like level four and level five sleep, your airways gets really relaxed and then it collapses a little bit. And that's why people snore. How are you feeling, Gabe? Feel good, I feel, feel, feel light. Did you take a deep breath in? I was holding my breath the whole time. I bet you had that with a customer. I had a customer take a deep breath in and I raised his head and he forgot to exhale. He, he was waiting for me to tell him to exhale. So, <laughs> so now whenever I show customers this, I always tell them, okay, you can take a deep breath in and out. How's your breathing? Do you feel any difference on your breathing? I feel lighter, you know, when, when, when you brought it up, it just felt like it was not as much pressure on the chest. Yeah, so what it does, it opens up the airways because your airways tend to collapse a little bit, you know? And again, that's why people snore. If you have it really bad, it turns into apnea and then the tongue gets in the, towards the back of the throat. Doing this takes away the pressure off your airway. So you're breathing a lot easier. Also, um, with raising your head for digestive purposes, we get customers that have GERD, it's acid reflux, kind of like heartburn, you know, that they have to sleep elevated. And what happens when you're flat, that fluid, let's say that's your, that's the head part. If your digestive system is not working properly, that fluid is gonna go past your esophagus and it's gonna go up and it's gonna disturb you all night. But when you sleep elevated, it allows that fluid to 
better settle more back in to, to the gut area. People with acid reflux, they need to sleep elevated for their digestive purposes. I mean, I've had it a couple times and it's, it's horrible. Some people pile up pillows. I've seen people like put books or bricks underneath the bed to sleep elevated, which those are just temporary fixes or that wedge, you know? But again, you really can't control the angle that you're at or the pillow shift and move and then it puts strain on the upper and lower back. Having a base that you can adjust and can control it, that's a lot better way to go. Everybody's zero gravity is a little bit differently. You know, there's not like a one size fits all. Well, at least the health benefits of going in zero gravity. If you're sick, if you, you know, have a cold, you're stuffed up, sleeping elevated too, it's gonna definitely clear you up. My wife gets sick, I get sick. You know, we do elevate just to, uh, you know, if we're congested or if our kids are congested, keep all that fluid down so they're not constantly waking up at night. Here's a big tip though. People get make a mistake when they get one of these adjustable bases. They try to go in zero gravity like the first night, like yeah. right, right away. What's happened is they, they end up not liking it because it's a big change for them. It's a big adjustment because their body's getting used to the mattress. Plus their body's getting used to this new sleep position. Cause I did the same thing. You know, I put myself in zero gravity, really excited to get in zero gravity. And I did it for a couple nights. It just did not feel right. But what I found works best is, especially if you get a, if you're getting a new mattress at the same time, I would tell people start flat. Just let your body get acclimated for the just for the mattress for a few nights. But then do tiny little incremental changes. Start at the feet and just do a tiny little move, a little change, like like maybe an inch at a time. I know you can. I don't know if you can really see that, but you can barely see that little change. So tiny little incremental changes every few nights after about three to four weeks then you end up being in that zero gravity but it allows your body to adjust some of these bases have actually some cool features too like if you have any lower back pain gabe how are you feeling right now in the little lower part of your back i feel good so what i'm gonna do now is uh, this base right now has lumbar support if you needed to get a little bit more support add to the firmness you know what i can also feel it opening my airways even more though too so. some of these bases get pretty sophisticated as far as how they support you and how they adjust. Two questions that we get asked a lot. If, what happens if, if you sleep on your side? What happens if you sleep on your stomach? First of all, stomach sleeping, there is a time where I say do not go into gravity for obvious reasons. Your body's not meant to bend that way. You know, you might do it for a little bit if you're just, you know, trying to go to decompression, but do not do zero gravity. Probably one of the bigger misconceptions when it comes to, to adjustable bases is can you sleep on your side when you're in zero gravity? The short answer is Yes. Just probably not the zero gravity that comes out of the box. Not as pronounced as this zero gravity, but people who sleep on their side, they still want to take pressure off their, their shoulders or if they have acid reflux or breathing issues. There is still a slight little variant of zero gravity you can get into. So Gabe, go on your side real quick. Just pay attention to the, your shoulder pressure and the arm pressure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise your head up just a little bit. And tell me if it takes away the pressure off your arms, your shoulders. So how does it feel on, on your arms and your shoulders? It feels good. Yeah, we moved from more of the top part right here, just bring it down a little bit. That's the biggest um, benefit. If you're sleeping on your side, it's going to take away the pressure off your shoulders, plus also the other benefits of your digestion. And then I'm going to raise your feet just a little bit. Tiny little change on the feet can make a huge difference. Now, for side sleepers that benefit most when we go zero gravity, we do the lumbar because the lumbar part actually fills in the gap. It also does a great job of taking off pressure. So that is the nutshell uh the sleep on your side so yeah you can still sleep on your side with a slight variance of zero gravity but play with it you know there is a little bit of um thing you know just positions and it's gonna take some little time getting used to but there is a lot of benefit of that little little bonuses too some people you know wake up with a stuffy head and they sleep with their head elevated big um feedback we get with people you know who sleep with zero gravity is they don't have that stuffy head in the morning because there's a lot of pressure on your head when you're flat sometimes if you wake up with the puffy eyes because when you're flat there's a lot of fluid that settles when you sleep with your head elevated that fluid doesn't settle as much so you don't wake up with that puffy eyes at least not as much and i'm a side sleeper i typically uh sleep on my side but i start out the night with, on my back a little bit of zero gravity not too high but legs higher you know elevated higher than my back back is slightly elevated and that's the half you know first part of the night and then uh, second part of the night get that flat button back to flat Right on my side. That is so zero, zero gravity. gravity. Right. It may be one of the best sleep positions that you've never tried. You know, if you guys are do not have one of the bases, I do highly recommend getting uh, getting a base. There's so many benefits with adjustable bases, not just the reading and the watching TV in bed, but the health benefits, like we said, the pressure, the breathing, just the customization offer. If you don't never experienced it, let us know. We'd love to have you in and show you what zero gravity feels like. Maybe one or two customers said, ah, they didn't like it, but. 
the vast majority are like, oh man, I love that field. Game changer. Yeah, if you guys are still on your mattress shopping journey and you guys have questions, we put together a little mattress guide that you can download from our website. It gives you tips on mattress shopping and mistakes not to make with mattress shopping. Yeah, yeah just you can always give, call us, give us a call. Or, you know, yeah. if you like the, you know, this content, subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button. Some people say smash it. I don't know what you do. Smash and probably break your computer or something. If you do that, just hit the like button. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Sleep well.